Hey everybody and welcome to Final Cut Pro. You're using a uh, pretty professional piece of video editing software, so congratulations. I'm going to go over a quick overview of, of the screen and what you're seeing here in Final Cut once you open it up. And then I'm going to get you started on setting up a project which requires three different steps, uh, especially for your first one. So uh, let's get going. So here in Final Cut, uh, you have a hierarchy in the upper left here which is uh, consists of a library. Inside the library you can have one or multiple events and inside the library you could also have one or multiple projects and I'll explain what those are in a minute. Uh, those all exist over here. You might see other projects, other student projects here uh, and that's okay. Just worry about yours. Uh, if you ever want to close your project out so other people don't see it I'll show you how to do that later too. Uh, here, you would typically have your media. So all of the footage that you load in, raw footage, raw footage is unedited footage. That'll sit here in this bin or this box. As you click on your footage, whether that be your raw footage here, or your finished footage down in the timeline, you'll see your monitor here, which will show you what that footage looks like. As you're rolling through and playing it, playing it backwards and making edits, you'll see all your footage here. And then finally over to the right on this top half uh, is where you'll find your library information uh, and different properties that exist for your projects and your events as well. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Finally down here, once we get started, you'll see a timeline down here. This is where your current working master is. So the video you're editing at this point will exist down here. The order you put it in, the different video tracks and audio tracks and uh, titles and transitions, everything will go down here. This is your master. This is where you work with your existing video. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing, again, it's a three-tiered hierarchy. So libraries, events, and then projects. We have to start with a library. A library is where all of your events exist. So as a student here in video production, uh, maybe you want your library to be uh, just your name, which will have all of your projects throughout the whole semester in that library. Or maybe you want it to be more specific and you want your library to be just the project you're currently working on. So I'm working on a vacation video at home. I have a library called Iceland and everything Iceland related is going to fall into that library. So let's get that started first. So file, new, library. And we're going to want to name this library. Don't leave it untitled. Untitled things get deleted. So I'm going to call this test library. Just for the sake of you guys understand where we're at. Here is where you can choose where to save it. I'm going to keep this in movies right now. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to hit save. And now we've got ourselves a new test library. You see it was already set up with a previous untitled amount of uh, stuff. I'm just going to leave that there. Just worry about yours. So you're in the test library right now. Now, the second tier in this hierarchy are events. So in my example, if I were working on my Iceland video, I have events which are different locations in Iceland that I shot footage. And so I might have one event called Volcano, one event called Ocean, and I'm kind of simplifying things, uh, but that's basically how you treat your events. It already gave me one event here. It's just uh, the date, today's date. So if you want, you can actually click on that and rename that your event. Or, if you wanted to create another one, or just a new one, you just go up top again to File, New, Event. Now, when you do that, you're going to want to name it again. So, I'm going to call this Test Event 1. You have an option here to checkmark Create New Project. I would say if it's your first time setting things up, go ahead and checkmark that. Create New Project. One less step to do later. Okay. Now, this is very important. Where it says library, make sure you're putting this event in the right library. Generally, it will work in the library or, or have the library up here that was last used. So it could easily be in, um, in the untitled library and you don't want that. You don't want your stuff in somebody else's library. So let's make sure it's in yours and hit OK. There, in the upper left, you'll see I have a test event now. I'm going to call this, I want to do another one, so I'm going to call this test event 2. OK, 
Okay. So maybe you're working on a project and you have one event called B-roll and another event called interviews or specifically interview with Mr. Cray, interview with Mr. Bodwell. You have different events just to organize things. So when you click on these events, only your footage that you want are, is in that event. Keeps things a little bit organized. So here in the test event one, you'll see we had that check mark that said create new project. So that's why we have a project here already. If you didn't remember to check mark that, just go to file, new, project. When you do that, you really need to make sure you put it in the right event, whichever one you want. Okay? So I'm going to cancel that because I have one here. Again, I don't want this untitled. I'm going to click on the wording so I can rename that. And I'm going to call this test project. You would call it whatever you want. You know what it is. There, now it's set up. We have a library. We have two events. You might only need one for this first project or you might need many. And I have a test project. This project, when I double click on it, would give me my timeline down here. So if you're seeing somebody else's pro uh, timeline down here, just double click on your project and you'll see it down here. That's it for now.